If you don't like how your shots or, or previous shots look in Blender and you still want them to look professional or you just want to find a way to achieve a better look in stories or just simply want to explore your animation from different angles, positions or just simply see all the possibilities that you can get from your animation whether it be in 2D or 3D, this add-on called Storyliner is probably for you. Storyliner is a Blender add-on that can help you streamline your workflow and create better stories, like with a better presentation, and you can see and try your animations from multiple angles and shots. To put it quite simply, Storyliner is an add-on that can allow you to forget all about the editing of your animation and making compelling storyboards, because you can watch your edits unfold in the 3D viewport. The add-on can be used in different workflows and for different angles altogether and it is separated into multiple parts, or I should say products, and each one of them is designed to serve a certain purpose. Now when it comes to the feature, Storyliner comes in different editions, each offering features dedicated to it. The light edition, which can be categorized by the yellow logo, is offering all the basic features of the add-on, like creating and managing shots, some editing variations, and batch rendering. This version is free, and you can get it on GitHub. The previous edition with the green logo is made especially for previs and pure 3D art. It allows you to easily manipulate shots thanks to the interactive shot stack and the edit timeline widgets. You can retime a part of the whole scene and stamp all the shots information directly onto the rendered image. The storyboard edition has exactly what you have in mind because you can use it for storyboards and in the early stages of pre-production. Generally speaking, it has all the previous edition features with the addition of all the tools and environments for efficient storyboarding as well as hybrid 2D and 3D previews. The last version or the addition is the Studio Edition. And in addition to all the features we mentioned, it has a set of tools to extend the edits with external editing applications in addition to other stuff. This version is made to handle for projects, whether it be for freelancers or for use with big studios. The different versions of Storyliner offer more features than I mentioned, and if I list them all in this video, it's gonna be too long, so I encourage you to take a look at it yourself. Using Storyliner is quite simple. You only need your animation and a version of how you want to present your story. When you have a point you want to focus on in the viewport, just press the plus button and it will be added to the list of shots in the add-on menu. This will add a camera focusing on that point. From there, you can change the position or pick another zone to focus on. Where the animation continues and you can add another shot, the add-on will then create a new camera focusing on that new zone. You can do this as much as you would like, and then just press the play and watch your animation play, shot after shot. And you can do that in a chronological order or any order that you want. The nonlinear editing means that the shots do not have to follow the scene chronologically. You can swap them, shoot the same part of the action from several points of view, or maybe do something else. And you can animate all the scenes at the same time and play each one of them in any order you like. You can play the animation in the edit play mode, where you can directly edit the shots in the viewport, where you can adjust their time range, in addition to their position, or fine tune them in the timeline as if in any other editing application. The fluidity of how this add-on works is what actually caught my attention the most, because you can easily jump from one shot to another, or from one scene to another without setting up anything only by adding the shots. Now going to rendering, you can notice that the rendering panel is separated from the main Storyliner panel. You can use this panel well to render, but it has more options to do more than that. The render image is for rendering the current frame, and you can also add the stamp info if you want more information on your render. The render current shots option renders only the current selected shot, and the render all option does exactly what you would expect it will render all the enabled shots at the same time. There is also the Play Blast, Snapshot, Edit Board, and Edit File options. I don't want to bore you with all the details, so I will leave you with the rest to check by yourself. Generally speaking, Storyliner is a great add-on that can help you do a lot of things. So if you are interested, you will find all the necessary links in the description. 
I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.